All right, folks. Sorry, it's going to be a little bit noisy in the background, but I'm charging batteries and I got a bunch of stuff going on. But I just found a problem and I wanted to share in case somebody else has the same problem. So I just plugged this uh, voltmeter type thing that meters the, the amperage and stuff. And then once it meters it all the way down, you can actually test your capacity and use this as a as a meter to test your battery, check your amp hours and stuff like that. But what's crazy is these are my individual cells and it's at 25.4 volts but this thing is showing that it's at 12 volts and I've tried disconnecting this I've tried you know everything and it's not working and I even took my voltmeter and just to show you guys I'll go ahead and try to stick my leads in here and not short anything but here we go so it's 24.93 that's the current battery state so I know this is showing just a little bit higher than that but pretty pretty close but this is way off so the way you fix this is you actually you disconnect this from the power source I mean you could also disconnect it down there but you basically just hold the OK button and then you plug it in at the same time. So let me try to do that. I might have to hold this phone a little wonky here for you guys. But I'll show you what I mean. So, so you'll get your finger, push the OK button, plug it in, and then you'll come to this screen. So if you look at my voltage, it's supposed to rise and get to the 24 volt area, but it's actually going to rise, and for some reason it just stops at 12.12 .12 volts. So pretty simple fix. This is basically your calibration, and you push the OK button to kind of cycle through the modes. So you click OK, and then this goes in increments of 10, I guess millivolts or something, and this is the 40, and you just look at this big number, and you just kind of push up or down and that'll change your voltage. So right now it says 12.11. If you click on up, see it's supposed to 12.12, 13, 14. So let's cycle back to this one. So basically we'll just keep holding this until that number, we don't really care about that bottom number, but we're just getting the top number to match the voltmeter to about 24.9 volts. So see now we're at 13 volts, so we got a long ways to go. But you'll basically uh, eventually get to the right number. And that's how you calibrate that. Okay. Maybe too far, let's go back down and see what happens. So 13 volts. Let's just run this one up maybe. So we're getting closer. I guess I should have started with the 40 and then maybe the top one's like the, the micro adjustment. So we're pretty close. So let's actually get the voltmeter here and test the actual voltage. And my fluke is calibrated, so I know that's exact. 
so 24.9 and of course it's dropping because I'm actually using the battery right now and if you're off by like a tiny bit I'm sure it's not a big deal you kinda get the picture um, let's just double check so 89 88 it's kind of where that one shows. And, uh, let's see. 89, 89, 90, 88, 89. So we'll bump it up just a little bit, and I think we'll use the we'll use the 10. So we'll just go. Yeah, something like that. And uh, that's it. So we'll go to save. And also, I'm not doing this on the video here, but you can also check your amperage. So you can actually get the clamp on meter and clamp and see what the amperage you're using. And if it's not showing up correctly down here, you would just do the exact same thing, but you would use the bottom two numbers. So plus four or minus four, and you just kind of get to your number. So you just click save for okay. I think I believe you have to just leave it on save and then you disconnect power so let's see if that works so save maybe let me just try holding okay maybe it's that way no okay so leave it on save and then you just disconnect power and then when you reconnect it it should go back to the normal reading and hopefully it shows the correct voltage So there we go, 24.9, 25, 25 exactly, and then of course the fluke will show us 24, 24.9, 24.89. So it's off by a tiny bit. You can go back in there and tweak it. I'm gonna leave it the way it is. That's pretty close. So there you go, guys. Hopefully that was useful for somebody. If you guys have one of these, it's not defective. It just simply needs to be calibrated. And once it's calibrated, it is spot on. So there you go, guys. Oh, I just remembered, it's called a Drock meter. If I find a link, I'll throw it down below in case you guys wanna buy one of these. But there you go, that's how you calibrate it. Thanks for watching.